Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know already, I'm Helen and I am currently pregnant with my very first baby and this is my 17 week pregnancy update. So at 17 weeks, the baby is around the size of an onion or a turnip and about 13 centimeters long from the head to the bottom. So, I mean, I think onions surely must not be, are they really 13 centimeters? And the baby skin is still very thin and transparent, but the body fat is developing, which obviously is very important. And I have begun to talk to my bump. At first it feels a bit awkward, um, but now I quite like talking to, to the baby that's inside there. So on to me, and as you know, I don't just talk about physical symptoms because I think it's important to talk about how we are feeling as well when we're pregnant. So the past few weeks I have definitely felt better in myself, uh, kind of the, as time has gone on and since the 12 week scan I've definitely felt more confident and been worrying less. However, it's good that now I do have my 20 week scan appointment and actually it's when I'm 19 weeks plus six, so it's one day before I turn 20 weeks. But having that scan letter is great, I was really excited, I couldn't wait to receive that. But obviously with that, I'm now thinking, how will that scan go? I know that it's a really detailed scan and I know that they go through absolutely everything, which obviously if everything is okay, that's really reassuring. But I just know that there's kind of a, a big list of things that they are looking for and that they look at which is a little bit worrying as well. So yeah, I've got kind of mixed emotions. I can't wait for the scan, but I am feeling a little bit nervous for it as well. But again, I think that is completely normal. So if you are in the same stage as I am and you're, you are feeling the same way as me, then, then yeah, you're not alone. And I'm sure we're not the only ones either. So another thing I will talk about, which I mentioned last time is my nausea. I think it is actually getting better. Well, it's been getting better for a while, but I think last week I was thinking, oh, like, it's just, maybe this is just it. Like, it's never gonna completely go. But I definitely felt better this week. Like, I haven't really noticed feeling nauseous that much, like, literally the odd time. And whereas before I, I was still feeling sick in the evenings, I think that's basically gone. Like, fingers crossed, touch wood don't want to jinx it and if it comes back it comes back but I kind of feel like it is actually going now and my tiredness has still been there as expected still feeling tired in the evenings still dropping off to sleep my skin as well has been pretty bad this week I've had a lot of spots come up kind of like in my temples and on my jawline and on my chin and yeah so this week has probably been the worst week for my spots yet. My appetite is definitely bigger than before I was pregnant. I'm, I mean, I have been eating probably a bit more because I've had to have extra snacks to stop me feeling sick, uh, because when my stomach's empty, the, the feeling of sickness comes back. So although that's kind of going, I am still getting hungry. So I just need to have a few more snacks in the day. You know, in general, I'm trying to be fairly healthy. I'm not depriving myself if I fancy something or if I'm hungry, but I don't think I'm go kind of going overboard either. Another symptom that I'm feeling at this stage is a bit of extra wind and a little bit of heartburn, I think. So just sometimes in the evenings, that feeling of heartburn, which I haven't really had before, and yeah, it's not very nice. And sometimes burping makes it feel better in a way, but sometimes it doesn't. So it's not, it's not very nice, but it's not all the time so far anyway. I've been having some pains and some aches. Like today I went out for a walk just by myself. I just went around the park, probably only for about half an hour, but towards the end, my hips, I could hear them kind of crunching a little bit. And I ha I've had problems with my hips anyway. And also I then started feeling the lower back ache that I have felt on and off since about 11 or 12 weeks. So whether that is just because I, w I was walking I don't know and that sometimes I get that backache when I'm at work whether it's just 
being sat down for too long or whether it's a certain position but I, f I usually feel that ache more when I'm at work than when I'm at home even if I'm sat down at home for a long time so I think it's probably something to do with the desk chair and kind of being at the desk at the computer maybe. Bump is growing and I will show you that at the end of this video and yeah it's, it's getting bigger it's getting rounder but I definitely noticed that it's quite a bit bigger in the evening than it is in the morning. What I am going to do, I have an Instagram account so I will leave a link below if you would like to follow me. Obviously you will have to scroll down to to find kind of this stage where I'm at now because I'll be posting these videos when I'm probably quite far into my pregnancy. But what I'm going to start doing is documenting my bump because I've, I've taken pictures for myself but they're a bit rubbish. It's usually in the evening in the bedroom when it's like we've only got a lamp on and I'm in some crappy pyjamas so I'm actually going to get Matt my husband to start taking some pictures of me every week I just think it'll be quite nice to have some decent photographs to kind of show the bump progression so if you are interested in that then have a look at my Instagram also if you go right down to the very bottom of my Instagram I actually started that account when we were just starting our TTC journey so if you think you might find that useful then yeah have a little scroll down. So the other thing I wanted to say is I haven't felt any kicks or any movement yet. I know that a lot of people do feel feel the baby moving at this stage but it seems to be usually people that have already had a child before and so for, for most first time mums 17 weeks is probably a little early so I'm not I'm not worried I'm not worried but I would like to feel it soon but I know that it's probably usually around 18 or even 20 weeks before you start feeling anything so that is everything for my symptoms I will show you my bump and then you can get on with the rest of your day so hopefully you can see my bump this is it from the side so a little bit of a round in there okay so that is everything i hope that was really useful and i hope you're all doing well if you're around the same stage as me or whatever stage that you're at or even if you're not pregnant yet because i know i used to watch these videos before we were pregnant before we were even trying for a baby actually. Um, so whoever you are, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe because I'll be posting a lot more pregnancy updates as well. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.